Hey guys, what's up? Ruben here from the Midnight Garage. Now you've probably seen my Wonder Civic video, which was the last video I've uploaded. And if you've seen the video, you've probably seen that I've wire tucked this car. If you look closely in my engine bay, you see that there is no washer bottle. And that's because I simply removed it. So if I want to clean my window, nothing happens. And this is not only very annoying, it's also illegal in Holland, so we need to fix this. And luckily, I know a very cheap and easy way to do so. First up, we need to remove the front pump. And with the bumper off, it is time to start. Now, usually when you wire tuck, you delete all the wires that you don't need, but I, in this case, kept the original wiring for the washer ball. So it's still here and I can still use it and still functional, so that's good. But we first need a new pump because I can't use the original pump because the pump is stuck in the original washer bottle and that one's specifically made to go into one position. So I first need a universal pump which looks like this. Now this universal pump is actually pretty great because it's real simple. It has two feet, an inlet and an outlet and it also has a place for a plug. Now, if you have seen the original Honda plug, you might notice that it is exactly the same as this plug. So what this means is that if I want to install it, I can do it just like that and I don't need to do anything strange wiring wise. It's great, it's like Honda wants you to wire tuck their engine base. To install it, I'll just use one of those factory holes that Honda just likes to put everywhere for optional extras. And I personally think that this hole right here, this is probably going to be the easiest one because then I can route the tubing through here. Now the pump is in place as you can see right there. And now the only thing we need is a reservoir. Now I did this a couple of years ago and people are always like, oh yeah, of course you can use that. but Think with me for a second. What is a small lightweight reservoir that can at least handle some bumps and shocks and comes with its own bracket? Usually pretty lightweight, sometimes even in carbon fiber. That's right, a drinking bottle for a mountain bike or a race bike. This is by far the best option and the easiest way for you to tuck your washer bottle system. And this is what I'm going to use. I went with a more expensive option, which is like a carbon fiber one, because I thought, ah, that's pretty cool. But if you go on AliExpress, you can get like the cheapest one. It will probably do the job and it's like 99 cents or something. And I've picked the wheel well as the location to install the bracket. Once again, I used one of those original bolt holes to install the bracket, so it's really easy. And the reason I picked this location, because of course I could have install it here as well, or here, or even here near the radiator support. But I need a little bit of space above the bracket so that I can slide the bottle in. And therefore I can easily install it and remove it. And if I install it here near the wheel well, that means that if I turn my wheel in, I can easily grab the bottle and refill it without removing my bumper, which makes it a lot easier for me. Now, I did modify the drinking bottle a little bit. I did remove that original flip-up drinking thing. I don't know what it's called. And I drilled a hole through it. And I did that because then in that way, I can grab a tube and feed a tube through it. Make sure that once you install it, the tube actually goes all the way to the bottom. Because yeah, otherwise you will have a bottle full of fluid but no way to actually get to it and make sure that next to you know the place for the hole there's at least a little bit of air that can still go in because if you don't let any air in while you're sucking all the fluids out you will create a vacuum and that's well not preferable but now i'll show you how i've routed the plumbing here you have one hose coming out of the bottle it goes all the way past here and then it comes out here where it connects to the motor and on the other side the hose comes out again it goes past here again and then past the bottle and it goes into the empty space behind the wheel well where it comes out here 
and then we follow it all the way through where it connects to one and two both the nozzles so in theory this whole system should work right now now it's time for the most important thing and that is to see if it actually works so let's test it out just put the bumper back and that was the last thing that I had to do. Now, the good thing about this method is that A, it is incredibly easy to do. The bubble is universal because obviously it's made for mountain bikes and racing bikes, but you can fit it behind pretty much any bumper. It's easy because, you know, usually there are a lot of holes where you can install it. And C, it is incredibly cheap. Now, I used a bit more of expensive parts like the carbon fiber bracket, but if you go on AliExpress, I'm pretty sure you can buy everything together for no more than $2, including shipping. Probably. So, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys liked it. Leave a like if you did, and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And then hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.